Buy a Mac now or wait to buy a Mac? That is the question. Because today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. If you were thinking of buying a Mac and then found out about the switch to ARM, what do you do? The short answer is it's okay to buy now. No need to wait. And here's three reasons why. One, during the last transition from PowerPC to Intel, Apple released three operating systems that supported the now legacy PowerPC system. Then finally, six years later, Lion is released with Intel only support, cutting off support for PowerPCs. So at a minimum, you can expect three OSs to support Intel systems. We already know about Big Sur, so you can expect two more in the future, putting us through 2023 at a minimum, based on a yearly OS release cycle. But since PowerPC was supported for six years, and with reason number two that I'll talk about next, I think the likely scenario will be Intel machines will be supported for six to eight years, which then takes us to 2026 to 2028. But even then, I wouldn't be surprised it could be even longer. Reason number two, the current Mac base is the largest installed Mac base ever at around 100 million versus the around 20 million power PCs at the last transition. That's five times larger. So you can bet that lucrative user base will be supported for a long time. Reason number three, compatibility and stability. Developers have been gaining expertise in the Mac Intel platform for 14 years and have built up expertise around it. It said developers take around three to five years to truly understand and maximize for a particular platform, which is very evident with video game consoles as the best games come out after year five. So you want less buggy apps, then sticking with Intel may be the safer option. And as a bonus for those in the US, as of mid-2020, Macs are getting heavily discounted online, making them actually a great buy amongst all computers in the PC landscape. The only machine I would hold off on buying is the iMac line, because they're just outdated, has nothing to do with ARM. They're missing Apple's T2 chip, which is crucial for faster storage encryption and video render performance. You'll want this chip. If an update comes out for iMac with the T2 chip, then that's fair game. So go look for those Mac deals. It's a great time to buy. So in summary, I'd be up for buying Intel Macs through the entirety of 2020. Then in 2021, I'd assess how much better the ARM machines are compared to their Intel counterparts. If they're the same and the deals are better for Intel, then I'd still go for the Intel Macs. Then in 2022, I'd be looking at buying ARM-based Macs solely. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.